Alright, now once you've signed up for a Google account, just visit google.com slash analytics, which will bring you to the Google Analytics homepage. To sign in, click the big blue button, Access Analytics. Type in your Google account username and password. Try to do it correctly. Once you're in, if this is the first time you've accessed Analytics, there will be a, a big button directing you to add your first profile. Otherwise, click Add Website Profile here. Put in the address of the website that you'd like to start tracking. And if you're also running Google AdWords, it's a good idea to link the two accounts so that the cost of your Google AdWords campaign can be carried across to Analytics. Otherwise, untick that, hit Finish. Now you need to click into this box here and hold down Control and A to select everything that's in there, then Control C to copy. Then you want to head across to ICMS. So this is a, an ICMS2 site which is available at your domain name slash admin. Type in your normal ICMS username and password. Once you're logged in, click on Site Settings. Click within this Google Analytics box and hold down Control and V, which is the shortcut for Paste. So that's pasted the Google Analytics tracking code into ICMS. Hit Save Settings. And then just for good measure, come back here and click Save just to let Google know that you've moved beyond that stage and within about 24 hours you should see a tick appear here when Google recognizes that the code is properly installed on your website and you'll start to be able to view statistics about people visiting your site including the sources that they've come from whether it be search engines or direct links on third-party sites and where they're from in the world so fantastic information, very easy to implement on, on an ICMS site. This copies it through to every um, visible page on the site, so you'll start to see some very valuable analytics data coming in within 24 hours.